All right guys, so I've done my eyebrows already and now let's get into this look. I am doing a purple, um, not smoky eye, but like cut crease look. And the way I'm doing it, I am, um, I am going to use the face and body paint by NYX as my um, base for my crease. And yeah, of course today we're using Juvia's Place palettes. I'm using the Zulu palette and the Festival palette. And yeah, let's get into this look. So because I did not um, use concealer on my lid, I'm gonna go ahead and do that now because I wasn't sure what I was doing. So I did not um, conceal my brows with concealer. I did use my foundation. Um, let's get that spread out. This is the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer. And I think this is the color Toffee. Because it is. Get that all over your lid. And this is not usually the concealer I use. I'm just in the search for something new. And because I'm looking for something new, I have not, I have not like tried, like picked up anything just yet. So I might pick something up today just to see. So I'm setting that now with my Laura Mercier uh, Translucent Setting Powder. Cause powder to powder, cream to cream. I used to say it all the time um, when I was doing my makeup, but say it today so y'all remember. Okay, now I'm gonna take the M332 brush by Morphe and it looks like the hairs are coming out of it. But um, I'm going to take this purple out of the Zulu palette, this one here, and we're going to add. go ahead and add that purple in since this is our crease color. I might try to find something a little darker to add to the end of this. Give it more of a like a smoky effect. Is my finger orange? My finger's orange. <laughs> Don't ask me why, cause your girl does not know why I have an orange finger. But y'all, this purple, baby, purple be up to your eye afterwards like it don't matter how much I clean my face and whatnot like I always the purple just does not like to leave the face so I don't I don't know um but for a darker color I want to stay in the purple family. I probably could use this deep plum um, out of the crown case palette. Cause I just want it here. Did that. It is darker. Look, I be having to double check, child, because sometimes this stuff look like it's supposed to be darker, 
and then you add it and it's like mm, this didn't do nothing to my look but this definitely deepened that purple and I'm going to definitely keep this closer to the crease I'm not going to take this all the way up Alright, so now that we have our purples done, I am going to take a rounded concealer brush and cut my crease with the NYX um, SFX, which is special effects um, face and body paint. And y'all, I don't be wanting to put this on my hand <laughs> because like... I don't have my makeup removing wipes in here, but it's going on the hand. Um, so I'm using the Morphe M. We're gonna say that's say three three four. It might not be right. If it's not right, I will like put in the correct one. Um, but yeah, we're gonna cut our crease. And the reason I'm using face paint to cut my crease is because majority of the time the pinks are very chalky in these um, in these um, palettes. So to avoid that, we're gonna do a base that matches the rest of it. But so far guys, this look is giving what I wanted to give. I feel like I always take one crease. Higher than the other one. And I know it's because my eyes are shaped different. Like one of my eyes is definitely like wider than the other one. And it's a little longer <laughs> than the other one. So when I do this, it always looks like one side is like perfect and the other side is like, girl, you ain't know what you was doing, did you? And I feel like y'all probably can tell which side it is. But y'all don't y'all don't talk about me so <laughs> y'all don't talk about your girl so it don't, you know, it don't get brought up in the translation. Dad girl, what you did on that side? That side ain't right. So I'm gonna take a small brush. <clears throat> probably the M709 brush. And I'm gonna try to bring this one down a bit. And I'm using that deep plum to try to like balance it out. But we also don't want to lose our cut. To be honest, I think I just brought it exactly back where it was. It's like for this side to be rounded, it has to be a little higher than the other side, which is cool or whatever. Okay, so now that we do have that down, 
we're going to take the pink out of the box of crayons eyeshadow palette from the crown case i don't think i mentioned that i was using this today but i am using it and we're going to tap that on top of that body face and body paint we use and now you see why we use it as a base because it makes that pink pop a lot more than if I just put this pink on my eye. So now I'm going to take that same brush. I'm not going to add anything to it. This is the M332 brush that I added the plum with. And we're going to blend that out. We don't want any harsh lines in this. And this side is really good. I didn't, I didn't really need that do nothing over there. But I think for me, my right eye is harder for me to do like certain looks. I, is it looks that I'm trying to say? What am I trying to say to y'all? It's harder for me to get it to look like the other side. And that's because, um, y'all, this is the color Adagu, um, out of the Festival palette. It's like a, just like a gold that I'm putting in my crease. I probably should have added it last, but I want to see what it was going to look like. Because all of that's not going to stay on my face <laughs> after I um, do my makeup. And this side just looks so. I don't know. Anyway, I don't know what I was saying. But this is why I didn't want to put this on my hand. Because now I got all this face, this paint on my hand. And, okay. Alright, so foundation. Um, I am still using the um, Bear With Me Blur. Um, that's something else. I do want to find me a new foundation. Um, because... Something happens. I don't know what it is, but something happens and my foundation don't be, I don't know, don't be what I want it to be. And, um, yeah, I start feeling some type of way. So, yeah, I want something new. So, <clears throat> the um, like I said, I've been using the LA Girl um, in color toffee to do my concealer. And with this one, I noticed I have to like, just put, dang, that's a lot. I just have to like, put it under there and then like go back in and adjust because it it's not it's not giving what it's supposed to give but you know I made it work yesterday I meant to bring more sponges home um, from the shop but like 
it did work well with a sponge. Yeah, the thing with this stuff, like it, it gives you, like you gonna get, <laughs> you go get the freaking coverage. So I don't have a pressed powder, which would be the next step. So I do take my um, my Fenty um, translucent in the color nutmeg and press that in. That prevents the creasing. And separation of the freaking concealer. Cause I definitely be having that issue. Y'all. Y'all, I'm sitting here talking to y'all, telling y'all my next step. The camera is not even rolling because my freaking camera, the battery died. But what I've done since my battery died, I set my concealer. I am now baking with the Laura Mercier um, setting powder. And now I am contouring my nose with the Morphe Glamour Bronze Palette. And this is in the color Leader. You only need to touch it to the palette once. Cause if you do it too much, it, it becomes a lot. And it's like an obvious difference. Like it, it be too dark sometimes. And then I'm gonna tap this is the Expert Face Brush um, by Real Techniques. It's number 200. And I'm gonna go in and snatch my jawline. And I try to bring it up into where I did that concealer at the beginning. And I'm gonna try not to dip it again because like I said, we don't want this so super like dark. Then I dipped it again right after I said, I'm gonna try not to dip it again. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this flat end of this brush. As you can see, it already still has powder on it. And we're gonna carve that out on both sides. I'll be trying to use my face as a guide, but child. My face is not even, and doing makeup has made me realize that my face is not even. And it's kind of sad. <laughs> but um, of course y'all know I dust that first because child, we ain't trying to be around here looking real crazy with these demarcations. But yeah, when I do that, it does not separate my, um, it doesn't make my, under eye start to separate. So now we're going to do some blush and let's see. I might use B out of the Saharan palette because the other one that I would have wanted to use, Abby, is Abby is dark. Like Abby, you you can almost almost most certainly um conceal or not conceal uh contour your face with abby like that's how dark it is so this um is the saharan blush volume two and the color i'm using is called b 
and it's like a pinky like because i show stop looking at what this girl did she don't even have no blush on but it's like a pinky purple mauve like color and you know i some days I really want to do blush and then some days I'm like, do I really need blush? Like I'm getting to that point where I'm like, mm, I can go without blush. And y'all know I hit my nose cause it just brings some color back into it. And now we're gonna spray the face again. And we're going to take the Royalty One by Juvia's Place, their loose powder, and put that on with the brush. That should be sitting like right in front of me right now, but it's not. All right, now I'm gonna take the Bad Gal Bang Waterproof Mascara by Benefit Brow. Um, and we're going to put a little mascara on. And I keep saying I'm gonna get better and start putting my stuff in back in their cases, but I never managed to actually do that. I be all talk until it's time for me to do my face and I don't have lashes for them. All right, y'all, um, for my lips, I am doing, um, I'm taking the NYX Macaron Lippy in the color Chambord, which is, it's black, y'all, it's black lipstick, and I'm gonna line my lips. Then I'm gonna take the color, um, I think I'm gonna mix these, but let's do the color Taunt first. Actually, I probably should've did that one second. But then I'm gonna take the color Vanity. Yeah, that's more of the color I was going for. And I 
I'm going to put a, just a We're just gonna do that much gloss. Nothing more, nothing less. Mm, let me go get dressed, cause I need to go. All right, so for final look, I just have on this 90s. Actually, I'm gonna put it here. I have on this 90s sweatshirt, 90s girl sweatshirt from, um, see I already got makeup on it. Sitting at this table. It's this 90s girl, 90s babe sweatshirt from Fashion Nova. Um, I have on these faux leather pants from Silhouette Styles. I have on my D chain, um, iced out chain from Amazon. I have on these um, diamond studs from Dillard's. I have on my Armani Exchange silver watch. And then I just threw on this little um, iced out bracelet to go with it. I'm wearing sneakers today because it's cold and raining. So we're not trying to be um, doing all of that extra stuff today because of the weather. I feel like it's something on my face. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing all that extra stuff because of the weather, but that's the look. Yes, I did an over the top look for a basic behind outfit. But I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's channel. And with that being said, I'll see y'all in the next one. Stay chic, babes.